so I go through like the journaling cards and I pick out if I even want to use them. Sometimes I don't use them, but I pick out ones that, oh, that hurt. <laughs> this picture hurt. Anyway. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cindy P here. I've already filmed this video one time, but I didn't like how it started because I was rambling and it was just a lot going on. My computer was going off. Um, I was like going through my thinking process of like the the purpose of the whole video and I came across something that just made my heart drop. So <laughs> I decided to just start the video over. So, hi, it's Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my Aura Estelle, like, 2023 Decorate With Me. This is the planner that I chose to use for my 2023 memory keeping, and it is the very last cloud in my collection. So, when I first bought my cloud, like, years ago, my very first cloud, um, I bought two of them. I bought the black one, and I bought this gray one. Um, and then I went along, I think that that very, like a couple months later, or like that very next, I think it was a couple months later, I bought, um, a blossom and a snow cloud. So I have four clouds in total. The first one I used was for 2020. My pink one, the blossom I used for 2021. Um, the white one I used for 2022. And here we are, my very, very last one for 2023. And this colorway is in Soft Pebble. I am not even sure if she sells this color anymore. I know she has like a cashmere gray and stuff like that, but this is the Soft Pebble Cloud. I literally just took off like the little packaging that was on the heart. It has silver hardware. Um, I took off the styrofoam and everything. And this is gonna be my planner. So I kind of have a theme in mind for this planner. It's like Girl Boss. Um, you know, living my best life theme. <laughs> but uh, to come up with that theme, I'm going to go through the process of like how I came across that because I'm a very big advocate of shop your stash. And so I have quite a bit of things that I found that I thought would work for the planner. Um, some people might think it's a little bit of a boring kind of theme because it's very neutral. There's not really much color, but if you like grays, neutrals, blacks, and whites, then this is the video for you. So first off, I go through, <clears throat> first off, I go through my papers and I have like a big box of papers. So I have a few boxes. So this is the first box. It has dropping things I think this video is just destined to be a mess but um I have some like really old inserts here like a pack of undated or Estelle inserts and half of a month of caress press undated inserts I have some like simply gilded items here a honeybee shop um a honeybee shop uh like babe box thing and then i have like a bunch of b6 size things because i was doing some b6 style planning before and i have like an old babe box sheet pack back here down here so this is the first box i went through here and i collect collected the like papers and items and things that i thought would work best so i have that that's my old address by the way <laughs> just it's so nice. I didn't cover it up, but, um, then I have this. This is a photo, like, craft keeper box, and in here I just keep, like, a bunch of clips and stuff. I have, like, um, peel pockets in here and, like, die cuts and everything like that. I have vinyls and stuff. So I just keep everything in here and I go through this and like figure out what I want to keep and what I want, like not what I want to keep, what I want to use and what I don't. 
So I go through that. That's the second thing. And then... I have this box, which is like... This is just a box that I like threw everything in. This is what like the other two, not the other two, but the other box that had like all the rest of the papers. I just threw that in here. And this has like um, all of my clips and things. This has like pins and stuff like that. I go through here. These are like pins and magnets, which I want to get like a pin magnet board so I can like put these up. But these have like some of my simply go to the keychains and things like that. It has like little clips and stuff from mostly Kubo and Lucy. Um, I have some like Carolyn designs in here and this one just mostly has like paper clips and stuff like that. So there's that and then I have like my B6 planner in here. And then I have like a bunch of themed papers and stuff for the B6. My other B6 planner is in here. It's a little dirty because it's white, but I could just wipe this off. But so yeah, that's what's in here. And I just go through all of these and come up with a theme for my planner. So on to what I picked out. So... I have a bunch of stuff here. That I picked out for this little gray collection set up here. And I'm just going to be going through them a little bit at a time. We'll go through the papers and stuff first. So I have like a piece of acetate with like my name on it in silver. This vinyl is from Calligraphy by Lindsay. I did steal this vinyl acetate, not vinyl, this acetate um, with a vinyl on it from an old setup that I did. Um, I'm not really going to be opening the planner that much. So I just stole the acetate cover because it's already cut out, hole punched, and it has my name on it in the color that I want. And then these papers are from... A variety of places so this one the first couple are from the honeybee shop and they're from her babe box this was like a self-love and i think the other one was like a planner themed babe box this one might have came from like the peach i'm not sure but i liked these sides of the paper so i'm gonna be trying to incorporate these this is from peanut Peanuts Planner Co., but I don't think she exists. I think this is Hannah's old... It, I think this is Hannah's shop. I think she's changed her name a few times. Um, right now, her shop is called Sweet Freckled Designs, I think. I just want to make sure because I don't want to get the name wrong. Yes, it's called Sweet Freckled Designs. And it's Hannah's shop. She is amazing she's great um but i got these from her a long time ago and i've had them sitting here for years <laughs> and i just haven't used them I need, I need a new computer chair because this chair it really makes me angry <laughs> i hate the squeaking thing that it does but um this one is just the eyelashes acetate so i thought it would be cute I don't know somehow we'll incorporate it somehow I'm not sure um, or maybe not at all I'm not sure but it's a eyelashes acetate and then we have one that just has black hearts on it which I thought was super cute so and then we have some papers from Squirrel Prince Co like I said before SPC came out with like some old paper packs that were like themed and I've been mixing and matching them so I think this is from like the Hogwarts Harry Potter like themed papers and then she actually had a like girl boss themed like setup 
paper thing that she paper pack that she was giving out so I do have some that I cut already down to like b6 size when I was using b6 size things but I saved them for the pockets and then it came with two um vellums so the one is just stripes which is really cute and then the other one is like gray swirls with like a glitter pattern And then this is a acetate with like silver triangles on it. And then this one is just like a rose acetate that's like really, really cute. This paper is also from the Honeybee Shop. It came with like the planner babe box that she did like years ago. I'm not really subscribed to the babe, bo babe box anymore, but that was years ago. And then these are the papers that came in the pack. It comes in a pack of six, but obviously I cut this one down to use, so um, it's not really, yeah. Anyway, those are all the papers and acetates and vellums that I have planned to use. Um, so there's that. And then... I have a variety of like clips and decorative things here that I want to tie in. To my planner. So like I said, I have my in stacks. I just um, printed out like some pictures that I wanted to use. This one is like not really that good because it got blown out, but I do have some pictures here that I wanted to use in my planner, so I have those here. I have a few journaling cards that I thought would be good. This one is like a thank you card from Letters to Apollo, but it just says little by little, day by day. This one is a portrait from Nubian Rock Cheek, and she also has a shop called Black Paper. It's B-L-A-Q-U-E paper. and. I'll put everything in the description box down below, but um, she's, I like her art. And then this one is from My No Addiction. It's just a drawing card. I'm not sure if I'll use it. I do like the good things will happen part, so I might just put it in there and just showcase this part somehow. I don't know. And then I have this white washi card that I got from like a SPC rack bag thing that I kept because I thought I was going to put I think it would be cute to put like monochrome washi on here. Yeah. I have some die cuts, this like lacy paper from Michaels. I have some gold themed vinyls from Calligraphy by Lindsay. Another like plan, which is like a Ray Dunn mug. This small journaling card from Nubian Rock Cheek. And then I have some pockets from Rose Colored Days that are in like a luxe monochrome themed and then I do like adding pictures or like a main like let me move these out of the way I do like adding like a main girl in the front of my planner so let me get my planners of years past in here <laughs> So these are the planners I've had for the last three years. This is my 2020 planner and it was tropical themed. Obviously some of the stuff fell out um, and it's crinkled because I've had this planner for two years. But um, this one's like tropical themed so I had like tropical leaves in here. I have like this girl from Holly Nichols and it's just a beautiful, beautiful black girl laying in her melanin um with this little cute leopard swimsuit on and i do have like this leopard clip i did have another like leopard clip on here but it fell off i don't know where it is right now but um as you can see i did use some papers from tool and twine co she's also a really good shop if you're looking for like a theme like to decorate your planner with it's like tool and twine co is really really good at making papers um I don't know if she's like open right now but I'm trying to see where my like 
final thing is. But yeah, this Stay Wild, this is so cute. So, yeah, she's really good at that. I have this with my, like, name huge up front here. thought this was super cute. So, that was my theme for this planner. i put these back in here. And this only has half a year in here, which is probably good because my full year planners are very thick. This was my planner for 2020 one and it was like my self-love self-care planner I did use the kit like papers from the honey bee shop so if you're looking for like setup ideas the honey bee shop has good papers um I just named tool and twine co there are other shops but uh, I did use this girl from holly nichols again I love holly nichols um, she has really, really good art. Very cute. Definitely my style. Um, and I just, you know, have vellums and stuff like that in here. So that was that year, 2021. And then for this year, I have, this is a sticker. <laughs> so for 2022, um... It was celestial themed. Oh, also, no, this was the honeybee shop. But I know Simply Gilded also has like cute little papers and stuff like that too. But obviously things fell out of the pocket or whatever. This is not how the pocket was supposed to look. But I didn't use um, a girl this year. I did use just this like dashboard from Tool and Twine Co. But it's, I thought that it was fitting because this is a celestial, you know, theme and I am a Libra so I just put like this Libra dashboard that has like you know the symbols the scales the dates the element and like some characteristics of Libras which were fair idealistic peaceful clever understanding and charming but we're also very indecisive so <laughs> there's that so I do have like just like stars and moon elements and stuff in here for 2022 so those were like my past themes and this year it's gonna be like girl boss so like I was trying to say before I do have some like I didn't really have a girl in mind that I wanted to use this year because I didn't want to um I don't know I just didn't I didn't see a girl that I like really really liked so I printed out a few pictures of myself <laughs> this was like my little birthday photo shoot that I did for myself I did it by myself this year in my house um in my apartment and I think it's super cute so I just like printed out these two pictures and I'm gonna see if I like them if they work I also have like my art by Tony portrait which if you want an art by Tony portrait it comes digitally and you can print them out and use them yourself use them as pointer covers as long as it's like for personal use um you can use it this one's a little bit like less detailed because I printed it out on like printer paper and it's really not the best I just didn't know what I wanted to go with and I wanted to see like what would work or what I would like so I just went with printer paper right now I'll print it out on like photo paper to cut out later and then also I have this art by Tony girl but I feel like we're starting off the year is about to be winter this is like a summery um girl because she has on shorts like shorts and a t-shirt and I do love this girl but I'm just like mm, I don't know I'm not sure so I do have those as like photo options I do have this little clip from paper dove shop it just has a little moon on it and it's like a wood grain like pattern she like embroidered it I think this is embroidery she embroidered it herself and I was like I really need to get this because I love supporting Alex and I thought I could like paint this like black like the wood part so I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out these like die cuts came with the planner like SPC papers so we just have let me zoom you guys in really quick we have um, a rose which I really want to use this pen that I want to use the these like 
professional clothes these flowers i've been like dying to get some flowers like this like the forever flowers from like a loved one a boyfriend something for years and i still haven't received them i'm salty but <laughs> i'll buy them for myself how about that and then um i have this like little cute prada purse that has like my fingerprints on it and then we have like these cute little books here we have another rose some pens chanel flats a marble laptop a girl in a girl boss suit um a globe some spc bows a girl boss mug and a planner so that's what we have here for like die cut situation and then i already went over this clip we have two paper clips from peony's tapery i do like this black one more it's just giving me professional you know so i don't know which one i'm going to use i do have these black paper clips from my shop from employees i'm not really open right now but they're just black matte huge jumbo paper clips and then we have these two clips from kubo and lucy this is also from kubo and lucy i'm pretty sure yes i'm pretty sure but i have like a few clips from kubo and lucy all of these are from kubo and lucy actually um i thought i could just pull them in and yeah there's that this is from paper dove shop it's just a holographic stars and i mean stars moons and bows washi like not washi it's like a bookmark and then i have this very very old caress press like divider like cover things i know that she comes out like she already came out with some more but i think i was talking with i'm so sorry i forgot your name i was talking with somebody on instagram and i saw that she like posted on her stories that they were upside down this is these are very old um but i wanted to purchase new ones because they have she had like a black marble tab um that looks really really cute and i was like i would like these but i don't know if hers were oops or not but she was saying that hers were upside down like the word was like on the other end so that like when she flipped it would look upside down i'm not sure if hers were oops or not but i didn't purchase them because I had these marble ones and I was like oh these would probably look cute and I should just sh shop my stash and use what I have so I have these <laughs> um and then obviously you guys saw these in my you saw these in my um haul that I had recently and this is just the 2023 inserts from caress press they're just, you know, dated inserts. They have the monthly and the weekly pages in here. And yeah, so that's what I have. So we're just going to go ahead and get started because I've babbled on for long enough. And we're going to just start with the inserts. I'm just going to throw them in the planner. So next year... Like I said, I don't know if I want to do a coil planner. I'm saying next year as in like 2024. It's not 2023 yet, I know. But um, I don't know if I want to do a coil planner or not. I tend to do like way too much. And I've learned that lesson this year that I like really need to stop. In some aspects of my life, I need to stop doing so much. Because um, sometimes I just wear my myself too thin by like spreading myself um that I wear myself too thin by like doing too many things and I just when I do that it's more I guess it's not the quality that I like so like for example I I have all these social media um platforms this is my only YouTube one but for example on Instagram I have like 
three or four I have quite a few Instagrams um one is like my normal Instagram that I just share like photos of my life that was like my original Instagram and then I started a planning Instagram called Cindy B Plans that was my decorative Instagram but then I stopped decorative planning for a while and I fell into the minimum minimal planning um style and so I like switched that to my minimal planning style but I really shouldn't have left that platform alone I should have just added my decorative photos to that I don't know um so then like while I was minimal planning I started my obsessed with paper because I thought I had to separate the two planning styles when I didn't really have to um so yeah I don't know I have too many platforms and it's kind of hard for me to keep track I don't really know how to like streamline them now so that's what I'm trying to work I don't know I'm like I really don't like that I have so many platforms. I kind of want to delete some, but I really don't. Especially with like my two planning platforms, I don't know how to like streamline that into like one thing because I feel like it's kind of hard for people to find me on social media because um, I have too many platforms, yeah. <laughs> so I'm being rambly. Um, let me get started with these divider cover things i do like this weekly kit schedule thing i hope she keeps doing that but i'm just gonna go ahead and start with these i hope they fit these are like really old yep they're perfect that's not so cute i think that's really cute So yeah, tips for planning setups, I would just say shop your stash and if you don't really have anything in your stash for themes, then I would like go and look elsewhere. Um, and like I said, Tool and Twine Co. has like really cute papers. I don't know if she's still prevalent. I know she was like active like in the community a few years ago, but I don't know if she's still like active now. I haven't really like Instagram doesn't show me the the content that I used to get shown. Like I used to get shown um a lot of shops and stuff like that. But now it's just like they stick all the reels in the beginning and if your shop doesn't really if your shop if you're a shop or like a planner that doesn't really do reels that much then i don't really see your content and i don't like that instagram definitely like changed their algorithm and i don't really like the content that they're showing me and i don't know how to fix that i do like people's pictures and stuff like that but i don't want to like you can't spam like people's pictures on instagram because if you do that, the Instagram algorithm is going to think that you're like a bot, like a robot. And like, it's going to sh stop showing that person's content altogether or like they get moved down on the algorithm and I don't want to mess up anybody's, you know, stuff. So that's a problem. <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying about like content and stuff like that, I love, I feel like I have a lot of hobbies, right? Like I like doing a lot of things. I don't really have one thing that I'm like really, really superb at that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the thing that I'm going to like spend majority of my like hobby time, creative time doing. And that's a problem <laughs> for me because I just have so many things that I'm doing all the time. Like gaming. I love gaming. Did I have to create gaming content? No, I didn't. I could have just enjoyed gaming as a hobby like most other people. But I had to go and make a gaming Instagram because that's what I wanted to do at the time. And it was fun for a while. 
like creating gaming content and stuff showing people like new games and like recommending cute accessories for their switch recommending new like small indie games and stuff like that but then i just fell off mostly because of like the bar exam and everything um and school that took a lot of a, a lot of my time but i didn't have to go and make like i feel like i i tend to like make my hobby my job turn my hobby into a job somehow by like trying to share that thing online that brings me joy <laughs> and I don't have to do that for everything that I'm doing and I need to remember that because whatever I do like in my life I want to do it well and I don't like half-assing things and I don't know lately I feel like I've been very overwhelmed by like all the things in my life And I don't really like that feeling. Okay, we got all the tabbies in. So there is that. There are all my marble tabs. And it looks freaking amazing. I think it looks so cute. Um, while I was doing that, I was just thinking about like what I want 2023 to be and I don't really have like a word or anything, but like I know for like 2022, that was the year of a lot of like changes going on in my life. I was like, it was a year of like, a, like you saw in my post-it note, but it was a year of like change and transition um, and a lot of accomplishments too. I turned 27. I finally became like an attorney um I went through like a huge breakup so I think that 2023 will be a year of I don't really want to say like it's gonna be like my it girl era you know what you know what I mean like the start of my it girl era um which probably sounds a little cocky but like I need it <laughs> like I feel like my self-confidence has just been so low lately and I think I just need to remind myself that like I'm that girl because I feel like in my relationship the one that like just ended I lost a little bit of my identity like there were some things that I was doing that I just was like this is not me like what is going on here um so anyway enough of that Let's get into this. Um, I'm just trying to grab my paper cutter so that I can cut. And I'm going to grab like one of these sheets and try to figure out the best placement of know what picture I want to use. I kind of want to use this laughing picture because I think it's cute. Um, we're gonna like cut some of my head off but I think that's a good let me do the bottom first. I hope that's straight. I don't know. That is not straight. And we can trim it up after. I'll remove this a little bit and trim that down. Now we have the bottom done. We can work on the sides. That. And get this.
I am cutting it a little bit, like a sliver bit bigger because I want it to cover this sheet like entirely. I'm not even sure if I like the crop of this. But. And now we cut the holes. into it and I just use this hole puncher I know that there's like an A5 like hole puncher but um I'm I don't have it I have it in my Amazon car I just never check it out because I'm just like it's easy enough to just do this <laughs> I don't really need the hole puncher it's just a want but here is the picture I think it's really cute. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? I feel like I like this picture a lot. I obviously I'm gonna like print it out on like printer paper so it's not as flimsy. But let's try to cut the other ones and see how we feel. So let me grab my planner here and we can figure out, I really do like this, <laughs> I think I already know which one I'm going to choose, <laughs> which is this one. I just like it a lot. I just look genuinely happy. Um, this one is giving me attitude, like yeah I'm that girl, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments, like which photo do you think I should use this is definitely more planner girl so but I don't really want to use that one so which one do you think I should use this one or this one um we're just gonna keep this one for now and then I do have an acetate here that has my name on it so we're just gonna put this here to protect the picture and just have a little I don't know it gives a little something a little something something so there's that. I love it so much already. Um, I think I'm just going to clip these together. So yeah, I don't really have a rhyme or reason of like doing things. I just <laughs> try things and see if I like them. And I think that clip is too big. So we're just going to go with like a smaller clip. And this one just has like an LV little charm on it. So we're going to go with that. Now on to this like, we're gonna try to do like this like pocket situation over here. Um, let's see what we have. So, I want to use this side. I'm just going to try to add this here like this. We're going for monochromatic. And then I have this little lacy paper from Michaels. We're just going to add here like this. That's a start. I feel like this vellum should go in here too. Let's try that. I think that's cute, right? Kind of. I think that's cute. And then we have uh, sorry, sorry. I don't know. I do like this instead of just my name here. I don't know. See, this is what I do. I just like <laughs> add things, take things away, pick and choose, change my mind, and then we get a cute setup at the end. Um, I do want to add these. Let's try to figure out, figure out how I want this little pocket situation to look like.
So I do want this in here somehow, but I think I want to cut this down because I want the good things will happen to be like right here. Let me see. I do want these this good things to happen in here, but I want it like right here. So we're just gonna cut it down. First off, I need like a sliver, a small sliver of it off. I know you're probably supposed to measure it, but we're just gonna like eyeball it. Maybe because I'm not doing it on a flat surface. So we took a sliver off that side. We're going to take a sliver off the other side. And then we're going to take a sliver off the bottom. See if that works. She fits, but we need to take a lot more off the bottom. So I'm just going to cut it to like here. Let's get rid of this so you guys can see. We need like a small sliver more, but I don't really want to cut the bow off. Hmm. Huh. And this little side thing is like bothering me. I'm gonna cut a sliver more. I'm sorry that my chair is squeaking. It's killing me too. Um, so we have this. I feel like a little sliver is like bothering me, but we're gonna leave this in here for now like that. Um, I wanna add a washi card in here. And then we're gonna add this little picture in here somehow. Clip it. I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to write that it's like my Let's see. Okay, so I bought this pen off of cloth and paper. It's just like a permanent marker pen. Um, yeah, I just bought it so I can write on like the post-it notes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put like the date. I don't know if I want to put the date on the top or like, I'm going to just put my 26th. So I just wanted to put the date so I can remember, <laughs> but we're going to wait till that dries and we're going to like add it in here somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we're going to work on this little washi card. Um, I wanted monochromatic washi and I have this little grid washi. Let's see what else I have. Okay, so I have these washies. So these are obviously from Simply Gilded. You guys know that. This. Where did I get this? It's like a perforated um, header washi. I think it's from Rose Colored Days. I'm not sure. This is from Poi and Hun. These like grid washies are from Poi and Hun. One is white and one is black. And then this is from Simply Watercolor Co. And I love these. These I'm going to use for sure. I'm just trying to figure out like what other washi would look good with it. And I feel like the black, just to bring in black, like these two, just to break it up a little bit. 
Um, I don't. I think this is too stark. Maybe something like this. Maybe. I'm just trying to find like a good combination. I feel like this could work. I think this could work on the washi strip. So we're just gonna try this. But I definitely know I wanted to use some of these because I have a lot of washi and I feel like ever since the 15 millimeter washi strip came out with like foil overlays, I haven't used my Simply Gilded washi enough. Someone that's like really good at like using washi and their spreads is Samantha from Samantha Reads and Plans. Um, she's really good. She has like a ton of Simply Gilded washi and she like knows how to use it. And then Just Lovey, Jemima from Just Lovey Devi. She's really good at using like Simply Gilded washi too. So there is the first washi. Here we are. And then let's throw in this little black. Simply Gilded on here. And I remember like we used to do these in the past. I don't, I haven't seen like anybody else do it like recently, but I haven't really seen a lot of setup videos anymore either. I think we just grew out of this like style of planning and this style of video. It's like really long, obviously, but This is mainly for decorative purposes. I don't think I will be pulling this washi in. I'm trying to see what, where the back is. Um, this is obviously for decorative purposes. It's not functional. It can be functional, but it's mainly for decorative. Then we're gonna add this. Okay, so this is really bothering me. I'm sorry. I thought it wasn't going to bother me, but it really is. That like that little smidget of green is showing. So we're going to cut it off. Um, just a smidget more. That should handle... That should deal with that. So... And I lied on here. I turned 27 not 26 jeez <laughs> so i don't know how i'm gonna fix this let me see if whiteout works it does work i lied i turned 27. i can't believe i'm already 27 that's crazy okay there we go 2023 i'm turning 28 which is insane <laughs> Like, where did the time go? Anyway, um, I'm trying to see, like, what else? I don't think I want to use this journaling card. Um, there's this little by little day by day journaling card. I do like the white roses and stuff like that. I don't know if I want to use this either. I feel like something's missing right here. And I honestly could just put these in this pocket and just make it like a one tier pocket type thing. That way I don't have to deal with the second pocket or even like look at it, worry about it. But I feel like I'm missing like a layering element around here. I don't know what. But we're going to put this in the front pocket like this, just that it's does this dry? I hope so. Yes. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what to do with these. I'm going to put professional clothes here. And... I want to put my flowers in here somewhere. Let's 
see. Good things will happen here. Professional clothes. We have a little Prada bag. Flowers. I feel like this could be cute. Hmm. I want to layer this somehow, but like, I'm not really sure how. That is that for now. This is the front pocket. We're going to add some more of these elements throughout. This is turning out really cute. I'm loving it so far. It's like a luxe type you know girl boss theme we have me here with like the gucci earrings and we have this little luxe thing here with my name on it then we flip to the weekly schedule i want to add something here let's see what we can No secrets between us, no, it's just honesty Even if it hurts, even if it's just for today I know you're just here for good fun It's over before it's begun So don't let me fall for Figment of my imagination Don't be a stranger Let me get to know ya There's a kind of danger When my mind starts to wander Round and around trying to figure you out What'd it be like to be What'd it be like to be too much rather be much better if we stayed in touch you and me but it was too late i can't make you stay but wait i know you're just here for good fun it's over before it's begun Okay, so here we are. We are done. This is my minimal setup for this year. I'm going to be adding more things um, as the year goes on. I figured that since I do really like this black and white like montage of myself that this year I could literally add. I mean, January, I'm just adding this because like this is the picture that I have but I figure that every month I could try to take a picture of myself and add it as like the cover page for the month and I'll just edit it in monochrome and print it out and put it for the month so then like every month I'll have like 12 pictures at the end of the year I'll have 12 pictures of myself that I could just look back and see like you know how far I've come whatever so we just have this pocket here as you can tell I've just had this good things will happen um picture from it's a journaling card from my nose addiction this little holographic bookmark from paper and dove shop these are from the spc like journaling um it's not journaling the papers like die cuts that she had we made this sh like washi strip card together um that's there we made this washi strip card together. We have this pen here, which, I mean, it could go, no, I left it in the back. Um, this plan is a de-stash from someone else's de-stash. They were like uh, getting rid of a bunch of like die cuts and stuff like that. So they did get rid of a bunch. I think I'm just gonna add this. I wanted to add this paper clip on here. 
to like keep these together. Usually it works, but Okay, I'll add this here like this. And if I have like a small little thing, I can add it in the front. If I wanted to, I could like add this here instead of inside the pocket, but I think I like it in the pocket better. So let's just put this back here. And then um, these are just some paper combinations that I had. I just put it here with this like lace trim thing from Michaels. And then on this side, we have just a picture of me and monochrome, this clip from Kubo and Lucy, and this acetate with my name on it, which I was trying to figure out whether I liked the quote, like, be the girl who decided to go for it here, but I already put the vinyl down, so it was too late, but um, we just have this here, and then we have the year at a glance on the back. And I just added a few dates that I wanted to remember and I, those date dot like cover like circle stickers are from Erin Condren. And then we have another clip from Kubo Musu here and I just added, this was in the pocket, but I just added it here instead. This is a die cut from the, the paper pack and this is just the Polaroid that I printed out myself with my Instax camera. This be the girl who decided to go for it. Vinyl is from Calligraphy by Lindsay, which I should have brought it over a smidge but it's fine these two papers I just layered together and then we just have this boss hustle print from Nubian planner Ch Nubian rock Ch chick yes and then we have this die cut from the papers pack and then we have the weekly kit schedule here which I already know what kits I'm going to be using for like new year's and stuff so I can start filling this out and then we just have my first picture here um, of January, and that is where we leave it off. I did put the clip here to, it's supposed to open into the monthly, sorry, let me fix this. I have this clip here for January, it opens into the monthly, like so. And if I wanted to, I know Caress Press has, um, I know I have some from Scribble Prints Co, but I know Caress Press has like the lettering or like even if I find, like Letters to Apollo does them, but I'm thinking of just adding like the script like January down here, like how it is in the back. I probably like white out th this so you can't see the shadow, but I think I'm gonna like cut out acetate for all 12 months and then just add the month somewhere, like either here, like put January here or like put January down here. I think that'd be really, really cute. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding um, pictures of me for all 12 months in monochrome. And then I just have a clip here from Peony's Papery. And then it goes into February, just to mark the week. And then that is it. It just has my inserts and I added these like marble tabs to it. And then I just have a paper back here with like nothing on it. Um, I didn't really have anything else to put back here. So I just usually leave it blank. I do add like the sticker kit that I'm using here. If I had like a page lifter, I would add it back here, but I don't really have anything. And I'll just be adding like the different types of layering papers and stuff probably behind or like you know in between once the year gets going but that is my entire planner setup i will be using this pen so i have the zebra 0 0.3 pen it's the sarasa clip pen so i'll just add one of those in here And that is my entire little like decorate with me. I didn't really know how this was going to turn out, but I do really, really like how it turned out. Anyway, it just turned out to be like a boss babe Lux <laughs> type of thing. And I really still need to add a picture like right here. I think I know what picture I'm going to add actually. So we can try. 
to do that together. So this works like pretty simply. It's just in stack camera if you have like the the app on your phone, you can just um if you have the app on your phone, you can just like pick a picture and print it out. So I'm just trying to find a picture, the picture that I'm thinking about in my on my phone. Add this in monochrome. And so you just pick the picture that you want to print and then you obviously you have to turn this on. But once it's on and it's connected, connect, it's connecting, close, you can print out what you want and it like sends it to the printer. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> And then it comes out on the Instax. So and then you just wait for it to develop and I'll add that picture in once it's developed. Okay, there we go. So this is the full setup. We are all done. Um, I'm going to be updating it, like I said, throughout the year. And I am so happy that it's done now. And it go, it'll go up on my shelf until January 1st of 2023. And I'm excited. I'm excited to use it. Um, I think it's a bit unique. I don't think I've ever done like a black and white, full black and white like type setup. Um, so I'm excited for this. Thanks for joining me for this video today. I will have all the information down in the description box below for all the shops that are open and the shops that I can think of. Um, if you're looking for any codes or anything, please again, check the description box down below. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.